everyone, the package reviewer here, and you know how Lola Loud is one of the most hated characters in the Loud House? Well, I think I found her biggest hater yet, 89 Anime Drawer 2, featuring Maniac of Cyanide. Yes, hello gamers, it is me, the Maniac of Cyanide. Um, today, I am on this channel, surprisingly. Now, Anime Drawer over here has a huge hate boner the size of the Empire State Building for Lola, as stated previously. Why does he hate her? It's because of two episodes. Two. Fucking. Episodes. It's not like she's a psychopath in every damn episode. I mean, I don't get how you can hate Lola Loud and make all these hate art for one fucking thing. Honestly, I can't. Also, don't let the name fool you. The anime in his name is complete fucking clickbait. He even made a self-insert comic to further justify his opinion on Lola. Like, he tries way too hard to demonize Lola in every way possible. Wait, isn't this technically child abuse? I mean, he's literally putting a six-year-old in the most dangerous of situations, like a conveyor belt. Ah, uh, yes, putting a child in torture art. Very professional of you, mate. If you don't classify putting a six-year-old in a conveyor belt, I don't know what is. Plus, his art style is not even unique at all. If you look at his Lola torture art, you can see that it's directly traced off the fucking real show. So, he failed intensely of trying to make his art unique. I actually confronted him myself and told him about his stupid shit. And the way he responded was just, honest to god, stupid. He even thinks that it's a fact that Lola is worse than Hitler and Charles Manson combined. Just read these comments and tell me if he sounds righteous to you. Have you seen Home of the Fab? What mean acts did Lola do in this episode? Yes, I have. Also, you can thank Sound of Silence and A Tattler's Tale, because they made me into a hater and opened my eyes for what Lola did, no matter what she did afterwards. So basically, you blame the existence of those two episodes for how much of a cunt Lola is? Yes, blame those two episodes for controlling you to make hate art on a six-year-old girl. You, sir, are probably one of the worst deviants and anti-Lola Loud fans I have ever met. I couldn't say the worst, because at least my hater art doesn't have Lincoln kissing one of his sisters on the lips. I mean, come on, people. They are siblings, not couples. Also, I just doing what Lola Loud haters are too afraid to do, actually being a hater. They wouldn't even be haters to begin with if you claim that they are quote-unquote too afraid. No more Lola torture art, please! You're upsetting many people. After what happened in Sound of Silence and A Tattler's Tale, it would never end. Plus only those who like Lola hate this pix. People who hate Lola love these. Plus don't blame me, blame the admin from Loud House Wiki for not unblocking me from that site. They are the ones who set me free. Well guess what pal, I don't care for Lola and I hate your pics. And you're also blaming the admins from the Loud House Wiki for your hate art? Dude, you brought this onto yourself. Stop covering up this shit. Okay, that's all I'm going to read before my anger goes off the charts. Like, you have no idea how pissed off I am towards this guy. Firstly, stop with your shitty hate art. She only has done those things in two episodes from years ago. Secondly, don't blame others for your own actions. You brought yourself into this. Lastly, just take a look at yourself. You keep bitching about a six-year-old and just make hate art out of her non-stop, which is technically child abuse. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, this is the end of the rant. Thanks for watching, this is the Package Reviewer, signing off.